Steel used for anchor chains is first cut into predetermined lengths, each piece destined to become a link in the chain. These lengths of steel are then heated in large furnaces until they reach the necessary malleability for forging. During the forging process, the heated steel is shaped into individual links through powerful presses and hammers that mold the metal with precision. This stage is essential for shaping the robust links that will later be interconnected to form the chain. Footage of this process reveals the glowing red metal being manipulated and formed, showcasing the dramatic transformation of raw steel into structured links, each one essential to the strength and integrity of the final anchor chain. After the links are forged, the next step in the production of anchor chains is welding, which connects the individual links into a continuous chain. One of the most common techniques used for this purpose is flash butt welding, a method known for its efficiency and the strong bonds it forms. In flash butt welding, the ends of the forged links are first aligned and then brought together. An electric current is applied and the metal ends are heated until they are nearly molten. As the links are pressed together, the combination of heat and pressure causes the metal at the joint to fuse seamlessly. This method not only ensures a robust connection, but also maintains the integrity of the steel's properties at the weld points. The technology behind flash butt welding is essential for achieving the high levels of durability and strength required by maritime safety standards. This welding process is carefully monitored to ensure that each link in the chain meets strict quality controls, guaranteeing the reliability and safety of the anchor chains in their demanding operational environments. The heat treatment of anchor chains involves essential steps like quenching and tempering, which are designed to enhance the metal's strength and resilience. During quenching, the welded chain links are heated to a high temperature and then rapidly cooled, typically in water or oil. This process hardens the steel, significantly increasing its tensile strength. Following quenching, the links undergo tempering, where they are reheated to a lower temperature and then allowed to cool slowly. This step relieves stresses induced by quenching and improves the toughness of the steel, making it less brittle and more durable under strain. These heat treatment processes are essential in enhancing the chain's durability and load-bearing capacity. They ensure that the anchor chains can withstand the extreme forces they encounter during maritime operations, such as harsh weather conditions, strong currents, and heavy weights. By optimizing the metal's properties through heat treatment, the longevity and reliability of anchor chains are significantly enhanced, safeguarding the vessels and structures they secure. The testing process includes both destructive and non-destructive methods. Destructive testing typically involves applying force until the link fails to understand its maximum strength and the conditions under which it breaks. This can include tensile tests, where the link is pulled apart, and bend tests where the link is bent until it cracks or breaks. These tests help determine the physical limits and the overall durability of the steel used in the chains. Non-destructive testing, NDT on the other hand, is used to inspect and evaluate the links without causing damage. Methods such as ultrasonic testing, magnetic particle inspections, and radiography are used to detect internal and surface flaws like cracks, voids, or inclusions. This type of testing ensures that there are no inherent defects in each link that could lead to premature failure. To protect anchor chains from the harsh marine environment, particularly from corrosion caused by saltwater, several finishing and protection methods are applied. Two of the most common techniques are galvanizing and painting. Galvanizing involves coating the steel links with a protective layer of zinc. This process, typically done through hot dip galvanizing, involves immersing the chain links in molten zinc. The zinc acts as a barrier that prevents corrosive substances from reaching the steel, thereby protecting the underlying metal from rust and corrosion. Painting is another protective measure where a special anti-corrosive paint is applied to the surface of the chain links. This paint forms a protective barrier that shields the metal from moisture and salts. The type of paint used is specifically formulated to withstand marine conditions, providing long-lasting protection against corrosion and wear. Both galvanizing and painting are essential in extending the life of anchor chains, ensuring they can withstand continuous exposure to saltwater and other corrosive elements. These processes not only enhance the durability and functionality of the chains, but also significantly reduce maintenance costs and increase safety for maritime operations. Anchor chains are utilized in a variety of maritime applications, each demanding exceptional strength and durability due to the harsh conditions at sea. 
These chains are commonly found in several types of vessels and offshore structures. In the shipping industry, anchor chains are used extensively on cargo ships, tankers, and container ships to secure these large vessels safely at port or when anchoring in safe waters. Cruise ships also rely on robust anchor chains for docking and stabilization during passenger embarkation and disembarkation in different ports of call. The stability provided by these chains is essential for ensuring the safety and comfort of passengers and crew. In addition to ships, anchor chains are essential for mooring offshore platforms, such as oil rigs and wind farms. These structures are often located in deep waters where conditions can be extremely volatile. Anchor chains for these applications are designed to withstand dynamic loads and constant motion, ensuring that the platforms remain stable and secure despite the challenging environment.